I'm not going to mince any words here. I'm just going to give it to you straight. Christopher Paolini is the greatest science fiction slash fantasy author of the modern era. The fact that he is not the most widely praised author in all of science fiction and fantasy proves that we are truly sleeping on the greatest star in the sea of stars. It has only become more popular in the modern era of textual criticism to praise authors that uphold the values that we hold most dear. In the world that we live in, there are always wars and rumors of wars and sicknesses and violence and injustices surrounding us all. But in the midst of this meaningless ponderation on all of those ideals that come and go, Paolini's strict adherence to the transcendence of felinity is something that cannot be overlooked. As readers who've been reading books for a very long time, it becomes very obvious that authors' own worldviews and ideas that they hold strongly can come across extremely strongly in the subtext of all of their writings. But there is no other single author in existence whose themes come across more potently than Christopher Paolini's in all of his bibliography. As someone who has been reading books for a very long time and has been part of BookTube for two years, I've recognized that the most important thing that we can all agree on in every single bit of fiction is the path of the feline, the praise of cat kind, and pushing for the acceptance of cat culture. While many classic, though lesser science fiction fantasy authors throughout history have delved into deep moral and philosophical waters, there is no author whose themes so pervasively invade every word on the page in the way that Christopher Paolini's love of kitty cat kind has. The beginnings of the fractal verse we have into Sleep in a Sea of Stars and the entirety of the Inheritance trilogy that we have only exist as a backdrop to preach the good word of the divinity of felinity. Not only is the subtext of To Sleep in a Sea of Stars the importance of cat values and applying them in our everyday life, not only here on Earth, but throughout the galaxy, the fact that the book is 900 pages of cat doctrine and the author chooses to have the reader sit through all of that, despite the red herrings of weird plot twists and the choosing to name anything with any significant foresight, the fractal verse is being set up to be the great doctrinal treaties of cat kind, and it is proof that Christopher Paolini himself, in the way that he doesn't give a crap about you as a reader, to the level that he has probably transcended himself into the world of nine lives. The inheritance cycle is full of nothing but cats. Not only are there cats in the inheritance cycle, the dragons are cats, there are cat kind people, the elves in the inheritance cycle are essentially humanoid cats. And the fact that anyone would have the gall to criticize any of his books proves that they are probably supporters of cat genocide. In 2022, the majority of talk around the inheritance cycle is just about how it copies Star Wars or some bullcrap. It just proves that the anti-cat sentiment is so strong in our society is disgusting. The fact that as a culture we use cats as a shortcut to fame is frankly vile? Two of the biggest booktubers on our platform, Daniel Green and Murphy Napier, have cats and they use cats as a catalyst to try to gain more popularity here on the YouTube platform because everyone knows that readers love cats. But the fact that they exploit cat kind and they do not praise Christopher Paolini as the great purveyor of all things feline proves that they are just posers and frankly, they should be canceled. Hashtag free lock, hashtag free pips. To be a member of the booktube community is to love cat kind. If you love cat memes, if you watch cat videos, if you are following multiple cat Instagram accounts, you need to do your part and stand up for what is right. Support our monarch Christopher Paolini as the great purveyor of all things kitty. Go out there and put your money where your mouth is. Make a difference. Join me in the purification movement. And if you don't like this video, subscribe to my channel and comment something in the video down below. You're a kitty kicker. Paolini is king. Make sure to always land on your feet.